Hello there, just checking you can hear me. I can't see anything on my screen at the moment, only on my phone screen, which is a bit annoying. So I might not be able to read comments. Oh, it might have gone back to the screen I'm looking for now. Hello there, Karen. There we are, I can see that now. Let's try and get a full screen and then I'll be able to see comments on my screen in front of me. Hello there Anne. Glad to hear I'm loud and clear. Fabulous. And just, just the usual thing I'm going to say, I'm going to upload this to YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, scroll through a few minutes because I'm just going to hang fire um, just while I'm waiting for people to join us. Although it's been a bit quiet this week, it isn't normally this quiet on live, so I can only think that um, you know, if the weather's nice, people are doing doing things perhaps out in the garden. It's dried up here now though, it was chucking it down earlier. So how is everybody? How are you all doing? I can remember the name of this paper and I can't remember it, so uh... Hello there, Sylvia. Is it really early in the morning? Expressions in ink is what we're using today. Either I've lost some of this or I've gone through a lot of it. And then when I was cutting some of this up earlier, uh, for the project that I'm doing tonight, I cut one of them up wrong and it was the only bit that I had. Um, so I've sneakily covered it up. Oh, been nice and sunny for Anne. Yeah, Karen, you're a, you're a couple of hours away from me and it uh, looks like you've had um, the rain that we've been having as well. It's cleared here, so hopefully it's clearing for you soon. Just after seven in the morning, Oh dear. Are you normally an early riser though, Silver? Sylvia? Do you normally get up nice and early? So I'm going to be making a box. I've got some white paper and the reason I'm using white is because I think when I was doing something the other day and trying to demonstrate it, I was using dark paper and it was really difficult to see. So I'm going to be using um, white cards today. And then hopefully that should be easy. I have got a desk that's absolutely covered in these. They are all over the place. Karen won't believe I've got so many of them. I think on one project, I definitely put oh, at least 10 mini dimensionals. If you can hear a thud, that's, um, that's Karen. She's just fainted. Hello there, Tracy. How are you? You've been back at work after your holiday. Was that, um, was that really tough to get back to work after some time off or are you still off? Halfway through school holidays, how's that going? Right, I'm going to make sure I've got my measurements ready to go. And I've got my little bits of paper to one side because um, some of them are a bit fiddly. So I've prepared a couple um, and then I'll also put together some, put together a couple. All oh, right, yeah, see, the, I think the Olympics, we tend to catch them. I don't know when they're on because I've not really been watching, I'm sorry to say. Um, so I don't know if we're getting them really early in the morning or even kind of overnight um, but they're good to watch it's only it's only two weeks every four years isn't it you went straight into work at month end well, that wasn't very well timed was it <laughs> okay so I'm going to be using some of these. These papers are beautiful. They are 12 by 12, but um, just because I've been in a paper share, these are six by six. 
how gorgeous is that? I'm not using that one today so it doesn't suit the box that I'm making. Um, but they are really, really beautiful papers. And also as well, whether you're watching this live or whether you're watching this um, on YouTube or on Catch Up on Facebook, um, any orders this week, you get a share of hand penned DSP. Um, and I'll be putting the order in um because I'm on holiday from Sunday, so I'll put the order in on Saturday afternoon. So if there are any more orders, I'll put them all in at the end of the week. Right. So we're first of all going to start with the base of our box. Let me just show you. I just literally had a play about earlier. Now, the crafter that's inspired me for this is Crafty Car Caroline. Can't even say her name. Crafty Caroline creates or something like that she used to be a demonstrator she's not anymore lovely lady really clever lady as well when it came to craft um so this is the box that we're making so this is just my prototype having a go at it and i stamped my own card but i just think the card is just dull even when i put um even when i put a ribbon on it it's still looked dull um so it needed decorating I don't think you could create this box with DSP. I just don't think it's strong enough. So what I'm going to do is make the box completely in white, but that's mainly so you can see it. And then I'm going to decorate it with um, with DSP. So if you're having a go at this, it's quite a big box. It's a good it's a good sized box. You could get plenty of things in there. Look, and get some glue in there. Um, not that you'd gift glue. Um, but then I've got boxes of sweets. Oh God, that was made for that box. Couldn't get another one in there, but you could stick something else in there. So it's a good size box, but it does take a fair amount of card. So it would be for a special gift. Yeah, Caroline's projects were just amazing. And I think she was actually, her day job was an engineer and it totally showed in some of the things that she made. They were absolutely um absolutely genius so if you ever get a if you ever have a browse um over youtube just look up i'm sure she was crafty caroline creates i think karen here will put me right if i've if i've got that wrong but she's well worth a watch if your crafty mojo is gone just search her um so that's what we're going to make so let me just get my bits of paper ready so that i don't lose them and i'm going to start with the base so I haven't prepared any of this stuff, so I want you to see it in real time. So the base of my card is going to be... Gosh, I don't even think I'm looking at the right thing. Yes, I am. Yeah, I am. 11 inches. It's all right, I do know what I'm doing. I've got measurements for two projects written on one sheet of paper. So 11... Honestly, I know what I'm doing. So 11 inches by eight and a quarter. So all we're doing is just lopping a little bit of that off. And what I'm going to do is use the scoreboard to put my score lines on. Crashing and banging about it, I'm so clumsy. Now with this base, what we're going to do, I can't see all of this on here, is um, score on all four sides at one inch and two and a half inches. And you could do this on the, uh, you could do that on the trimmer, be absolutely fine. So all four sides, one inch, and then two and a half. I'm just going to do that all the way around one inch so this is the bottom of this box the base of it by two and a half um it's a reinforced box so this could really be the basis of all of your boxes um really really easy to make I haven't made a box for ages so one inch by two and a half sorry a one inch score line and a two and a half inch score line on all four sides. Always make sure that your card is butted right up to the corner and the side so it's nice and square. 
I shouldn't talk when I'm trying to look at measurements. Right, my bone folder has, oh, behind my scissors. So I'm just going to fold and burnish. This isn't any particular weight of card. Um, this is just normal, an old pack of Whisper White that I had, but if you're ordering, it's actually basic white. You don't necessarily need the thick stuff. Hello there, Layla. How are you? Thank you for joining me. So we've got all of those score lines. Hopefully you can see that on there. Much easier to see than that green box, uh, green card I was making the other day. And so looking at each of these long sides, what you're going to do is leave this square behind. We're going to make some, um, make some tabs. So I'm just going to cut up there and cut up there. So on each, on either of these sides, so on this long side and on the other long side, you're going to cut those two up to the second score line. You'll get rid of that and get rid of that. And you're going to do that four times. I'll look at the comments in a second, but I'm just going to do this because if it goes wrong, I don't want to have to start again. And then on the other side as well. going to do in a second once I've done all of these is I just need to make some notches so that it all goes all goes together. Um, I'm making a box Layla uh, I'll show you in a second. So I hope you're paying attention because on Saturday I'll give you some cards and we'll see what, uh, what you remembered. This is the box. It's going to look a bit nicer than that. That card didn't work. So for each of these tabs, these outside ones, you're just going to cut diagonally up to that corner. If we didn't do that, it doesn't fit. And then for each of these tabs as well. And it's these outside tabs and rectangles that hold the whole base of the box together. Now how you decorate the base is entirely up to you. You might want to put um, paper, pattern paper on the sides. Uh, you might want to stamp it, which would be quite nice with white paper. The tone on tone stamping is quite nice as well. What am I saying? I didn't like it. What am I saying? It was quite nice. It, it's just dull. I just didn't like it. Where did I get to? There. Oh, hello there, Helen. I didn't see you come in. Hello there, Margaret. I hope you're both well. Oh, I feel like I've been going around forever. Now, when I was making this earlier, I used liquid glue and oh, it just took ages. So I'm going to use tear and tape. But if you're making this, liquid glue is, is just as good. Tear and tape is just a little quicker. Right. 
finally got the last ones of those together. So what's going to happen now is that these tabs here, I'm going to bring the camera up a bit because this is a bit big. These tabs here are going to fit inside there. I don't know if you can see that. And then this tab here then folds over on that. So what we're going to do is put tear and tape along each of these outside tabs. And then we put tear and tape or glue, whatever you're using there. I've gone and left it in my box over here. And you know, for this project, there's not a single mini dimensional. And that second thud, that's Karen again, that she's just fallen on the floor again because I'm not using mini dimensionals. Yes, I'm good, thank you very much, Helen. <laughs> Let's make Karen faint twice. <laughs> Yeah, not one. Not one single mini dimension. It's because I used them all up for my project earlier for Monday's blog hop. And by now I wanted to be really ahead of time because I'm not going to be here next week. Um, and I'm not. Rubbish. So they're on the outside. A bit boring watching this bit, isn't it? And then I'm just going to put some tear and tape here and I'm just using tear and tape because it's quicker. <laughs> it's not very quick at the moment, is it? It will be once I've got all of this done. Just sit back and watch. Hopefully it inspires you. Right. Get my take your pick tool. And I'll start first with these tabs. Oh, I've got some sticky stuff on there. What's going on in the comments? How are my flowers? They're okay, actually. Do you mean the ones outside? They're looking lovely. My hydrangea died, though. But um, And my dianthus is looking far better through being at the side of the house, which is a bit strange. So, yeah, they're doing good. Layla is my um, horticultural advisor. So I'm just matching. Sorry, I should say what I'm going on. What, what's going on here? So these tabs here, they go onto the inside, and you just match the cut line with the score line as accurately as you can, and then press it down. So I'm hoping you can see that. I'm just trying to see this on the screen. So, yeah. That didn't want to stick. Come on. And then one last one. And it's always best to put the tear and tape on these tabs before you start putting it all together. Otherwise it gets a bit awkward. So I'm just going to shove my bone folder in there just to give it, um, just to make sure they're all stuck down. And then I'm just going to take off these. This does start to get a bit fiddly. Let me just take one off. Oops, that didn't want to come off. Let's try that again. Right, so now these tabs that we've put on the inside, that tear and tape, that folds in. And then it just helps to get your bone folder in there and then just give it a really good press down, especially if you're using liquid glue as well, which will take a minute to go off. So I'm just going to take all of these off now. What else is going on? Who else is here? I can't see who else is here. That's because I'm trying to concentrate on this. Pull that over. Right, so there is the base of our card. So this, a uh, box rather. So that's a reinforced box. So don't need a thick cardstock for that at all. 
that's that will hold quite a lot so for those of you that join me a little bit later I'll just show you how big this is so i've just got these this box was just made for them and then there's some room just to put something else in there or you could put um, depending on how big they are you could put pens in there it depends what you're gifting but what have i got on my desk a hand cream so you put no that might not fit actually it's a bit too tall but there we are base of box put that to one side and then for the top of the box we need two pieces that measure eight and a half by six and three eighths and i've only got one piece of card out so i'm going to get another piece out so it does use up a lot of card so you have got to bear that in mind if you're a bit frugal with your supplies then you might think oh i don't don't know if i want to make that but if it's a special if it's a special gift right i'm going to do two at the same time Okay, so eight and a half. So I'm going to have to do that on the long side because A4 is eight and a quarter. So eight and a half. By six and three eighths. Six and three eighths is the most awkward measurement on this new trimmer. So that's six and a half there. So that's going to be six and three eighths there really awkward but when i made this earlier it didn't really make any difference uh, just check in six and three eighths yeah just need another one of those and then we're going to do some scoring for that so eight and a half let's make sure you do the eight and a half on the long side <clears throat> don't do the six and three eighths on the long side first you'll be getting another piece of card out and six and three eighths. I'll keep hold of it, Karen. I'll keep hold of the box and fill it with mini stamping dimensionals. Right, on both of these, let's just get this scoring right. On the long side, check that's in shot on the long side we're going to score at three and a half and at five and on the short side score at a one and a half by four and seven eighths So we'll just do that again on the long side, three and a half by four, no, by five, and on the short side, one and a half by four and seven eight, and um, four and seven eighths, one and a half, four and seven eighths. that's something to get excited about there Karen a box full of mini stamping dimensionals I wouldn't be that mean right I've got to remember what I'm doing here fold and burnish everything so these are both identical but there's some special bits that we've got to take out so when I did this earlier this wasn't this wasn't difficult I just took my time I was careful with the measurements yeah if they've sold out of mini stamping dimensionals it's because they're all sat in a box next to me here right so with this, with your scissors, so I hope you can see those score lines. So these two middle squares cut up to the first score line. 
Now with this, you're going to take a fair chunk off. You'll see why shortly, but um, it's because we're going to have a diagonal cut out of here. So cut a real big wedge out of that corner. Not made the best job of that, but you can't see what goes on here. And a big wedge out there. And do the same on this side. I wish I had a bigger pair of scissors. It would work a lot better. So taking a big chunk out of there, out of both of those. Now what you're going to do is, yeah, we're going to take away these two rectangles and you leave these two rectangles I'm having to concentrate now, trying to remember how this goes. I think I have to make a box about three times before it's committed to memory. And I've made this box once. So you can see my cut lines here, they're a bit wiggly, but we have to alter those later anyway when we put the box together. So the next thing we're going to do, I just need to make sure I've got this right, hang on, yeah we're going to cut from here to here. So I found that the best way of doing that was to get just a pen and pencil just because I've only got those silly little snippy scissors. That's it. So where these two are, draw a line from the, this bottom corner up to the top corner there and then cut that and you're going to do that to both bits of card on both sides. And the same with this one. So you start at the bottom next to the triangle tab. and then up to that top corner. Are you all keeping up? Are you all following? <laughs> Sometimes I forget you're there and I'm just merrily crafting away. Just want to neaten up this here. I can't see very well. I'd normally get my face right up to this to make sure it's right, but I can't. So now we're going to check if these are correct. So when we fold those in like that, if you can still see part of that tab, then you can just trim it off. So that one's okay. And that one isn't. So what I need to do, can you see that? I just need to trim that off a bit more. So all I would do is just lop another bit off there and just test it again. Gosh, it's still not right. I'm always talking to myself, Anne, all the time. I'm the only person that makes any sense as far as I'm concerned. Right, so there is our box. We'll put that together. Let me just quickly do this one. So tomorrow will be our last live of the week. I can't do a live on Saturday or Sunday or next week, but I will pick them up again the week beginning Monday the 16th. OK, and I'll still do another two weeks, um, another two weeks of lives. It's just next week. I can have a break from my voice. So I'm just taking those two, I've just done it in a completely different order. So 
So just notch into those, that's nowhere near enough. Let's do that again. And how did you get on with that concertina card in the end when you realised it? it wasn't me that made it? Did you finish it? I'm just going to do, quickly do these lines, quickly chop them off um, and then we'll glue it together and then we're ready to decorate. And then that's taken, how long has that taken to get to that bit? Half an hour, that's not bad. And if you were making a couple of these, you'd probably get a production line going. So get all your bases done, get your lids done. Gonna neaten that up a bit. Oh, I can't wait to see that, Anne, if you don't mind sharing. So, oh yeah, I was saying about my lives for next, uh, for for my life for tomorrow. I have no idea yet what I'm going to make. I've got quite a busy day, so it, um, I'm out all morning, and. A bit of the afternoon I've got some phone calls to make tomorrow afternoon I'm meeting a friend for lunch tomorrow afternoon so um, it needs to be something I don't have to do too much prepping for so if there's anything in particular you'd like to see right let's glue those let me sit there fussing about with them so what we've got to do is put some glue on these triangles on the outside so where everything is folding in was like that we need to put some glue there I'm going to use tear and tape again so yeah it'll probably be in the evening again I think that's going to be um, the easiest for me otherwise it'll end up just being rushed and I don't want to do that so far I don't want to give it the kiss of death but so far I haven't had any major disasters on lives this week it's a bit stupid saying that really when I'm making a quite a complicated box. So don't forget the, um, the celebration offer at the moment for every £45 that you spend, you earn a level one celebration reward. So that can get you free paper, it can get you a free stamp set. Um, and for every £90 that you spend, you earn a level two reward. Um, so the dies that I was using in yesterday's live, I got those free for spending £90 and they're, they're worth about 30 odd quid. So that was, that was worth that. And they go with a stamp set that I've already got. Bit of a win-win. But we also have a really good joining offer. So that if you decide to join, it's the usual joining offer of choose 99, uh, sorry, no, you choose £130 worth of goods across the entire range. It's not limited. And um, you pay £99, but you get a free bundle as well. Some of those bundles retail for £55. So you could end up with £185 worth of goods and pay 99 So all you've got to do is just get in touch with me and I can give you some details of that and be part of Team Taffy. You also become part of a larger team as well. There's also my Uplines team and then um, Karen and Victoria's team as well. Right, so I've put glue on the outside of these and I'm just going to fold in like that. So the tab goes inside that sloped um, piece. I'm hoping you can see that. And attach that there and then the same is it is a bit fiddly you just need to, you know just need a bit of patience paper crafting has taught me patience because you know before I probably just would have launched that straight out the window if I couldn't get it to stick first time I'm not the most patient of people Oh, hello there, Kathy. Nice to see you. 
I'm glad you've enjoyed the man. I enjoy doing them. I really enjoy doing them. So we'll have another two weeks of them before I go back to work. And um, I'll try and do them more regularly. I'm hoping that I say this every year. But I'm hoping the workload might, um, when I go back to work in September, might uh, allow me just to do a little bit more of this. We'll have to see. And so there's that last one there. Right, so let me just show you how this is going. So these, I don't know if they're squares or rectangles, but they go on the bottom of the box and we might have to trim up the sides afterwards. So it all looks a bit bland, doesn't it? But I'm going to decorate it and I'm going to put some ribbon on it. But that's how it will go together like that. So yeah, it does. It looks really super bland. But what we're going to do is get some designer series paper and we're going to be using this just so pretty. So, so pretty. And I haven't got two pieces of any of these i wish i had but i've gone i've just gone and miss cut something which is just so annoying but it is what it is there's nothing i can do about that i thought i had another piece of this and if i was just doing a normal youtube video i'd pause it and go and find it but i can't find it so that's it these measure i can't remember did I write that down? No, I didn't. So these measure three and three eighths. I do love a simple measurement by three and a quarter. Now they're both supposed to measure that, but because I'm a prize numpty, one of mine doesn't, but it doesn't matter because when we put that on there, it's just going to cover it up. Let's glue that one on. Now doesn't the lid just look so much better? Now we've got that on there. So just putting these on with liquid glue. Can't remember if I've got this around the right way or not now. I need to concentrate. Yep, that's fine. And so the liquid glue just gives us a second or two to get them on, so I'm just going to turn that round and press that down. I'm going to do the same. Look, what a total idiot. I did that, but no one will ever know. <laughs> we'll just put that over there like that. But just imagine it that it was that it was on there properly. And it's supposed to fill up that entire rectangle the only disaster of this week it's not that bad is it so we've got those on there like that now I do want to decorate these sides so what I did is I just measured this at the widest part, which was one and a half. And then this measures three and a half. And so I've got some pieces of DSP that measure in the same in the same pattern. And these measure one and a quarter by three and three eighths. And they just need to be sliced in half. My scissors aren't big enough to do that, so I'm just going to do a pencil line on this dark green so I can't see it. Actually, that's not so bad. Now, while I'm thinking about it, because I've got a few people live with me at the moment, I have got a box full of retired punches, and I was going to put them on eBay, but I think what I'm going to do is put them on this page first. So if anybody is interested in um, some retired punches, watch this space um, and I'll start putting them up on my page. 
So I'm just going to put that on there like that. So I've got to do four of these, so be patient with me while I do those. How are we doing for time? Oh no, we're doing all right. Who's really late? Victoria, you are really late. And I'll put a list up and um, and some photos. It won't all be up this week because I'm limited for time, but keep your eye out for those. Have you been putting young children to bed, Victoria? Is that why you're very late? So that's the only acceptable excuse. Did you get carried away whizzing round? Or whizzing round your craft room? Right, so that was just a diagonal piece that I had left over, but I'd already prepared. So now that box is just lifted now to just looking a lot, a lot prettier. So we'll do these. No, that's not going to fit on there because that's the other way round. I need to make sure I do these correctly. That isn't even going to fit. Yes, it will. Right, I've got to be careful. I've got that angle right, otherwise I will waste another piece of paper. And then I'd be really annoyed. This DSP, <laughs> Janice is quite excited about this DSP. Um, you can't order this paper. Oh no. That's not good. Why is that? Is it just not available in Canada at the moment? It is beautiful. And I'm really, it's not very nice having to watch me <laughs> make make something out of it. Right. I'm nearly there with this box. You do have to invest a bit of time into this. But it's worth it. I hope you found it worthwhile watching. I think this was the paper that I got the most excited about when I saw it. It's just every single sheet of it is just completely different. I'm not helping, am I, Janice? Not helping. Okay. Last piece on there. Now, if you're thinking about decorating this, I'm going to put some gold ribbon on it, but the colours that we've got going on, I've got to be careful because some of that glue is still wet. The colours that we've got going on in here, we've got the evening evergreen, which I've used a lot this week. I promise tomorrow's project will not have a single drop of evening evergreen ink on it. Uh, we've got polished pink, pale papaya. Um, this looks like um, old olive to me. Um, maybe just jade going on there, soft succulent. So if you had all of the ribbons, they would go really nicely on there as well, but I'm going to decorate this with gold. Right, what's what's going on? I'm going to fill it with dimensionals, I am. Right, I need to be careful with this because the glue is still wet. I would suggest before you start properly putting it together that you make sure the glue's dry. Right, let's just get that out of the way. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, firstly, is find a bigger pair of scissors. And I'm just going to slice off, I hope you can see that, just a little bit there because it does overhang ever so slightly. 
You're taking the mickey out of me and my stash of dimensionals. I'm glad you were awake enough to catch it, Sylvie. I'll keep calling you Sylvie, sorry, Sylvia. Sylvia, what's been your favourite sport of the Olympics so far? I think you're quite a sporty person anyway, aren't you, Sylvia? The person that's been making all the headlines at the moment is um, the young skateboarder. Sky, is her name Sky Brown? Sky something anyway. Right, just wanted to check that was fitting. So <clears throat> we'll do the same here as well. So just need to take a little bit off of there just to prevent the overhang. So that one's going to go on that side because I want that to hang over there. And then that on there. So we've just got the slightly scary bit now where we're going to glue it together and then I'll put the um, ribbon on. So I'm going to do this with liquid glue um, just because I don't trust myself with uh, the dimensionals, not dimensionals, obsessed, um, tear and tape. Uh, because once that's down, it'll grab, that's it. And you can't move it. So there's your lid, there's the base, and then I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Oh, hang on, let's just see what, um... oh, that, that's how I think you're sporty, Sylvia, because you said you're athletics officials, yeah. Oh, Janice, thank you. I can't take all the credit, though, because Caroline, Crafty Caroline Designs, um, was the first person I saw do this and I presume it was her design. It just takes some patience I think, just a bit of patience. So that's one lid on there like that and my tabs underneath here are just catching a bit and that's because I didn't glue them down properly but we do keep it all held in together with um, ribbon in a moment anyway just to keep it fully together. A bit more glue. And I'm just making sure, I don't know if you can see, just the very edge of the box, just up to that score line and then you can close it and you can just make sure that it's all together. And then just press that down, press that down. So you can see where we had to just trim that to make sure that it all stayed, that it all stayed put. So I am actually going to fill that with something and I've got some, it's quite boring actually. It's not like me to have, oh, I've just dropped on the floor, unopened sweets in the house. But I don't really like sherbet lemons. But I'm going to chuck them in my box, including the ones I've dropped on the floor. There we are, good old traditional British sweet sherbet lemon. And then we'll close the box like that. You need to make sure that these are glued down properly because I was rushing a little bit, mine aren't. And I think if you wanted to, maybe you would decorate uh, the, uh, the base of your box. But I think that's fine just as it is. This is by far my, um, they make your ears tingle. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. Oh, have you got your grandchildren with you at the moment? That's lovely, Cathy. How nice. Um, this is my favourite ribbon. 
I'm just trying to see what it's called. It is current. Uh, it's the Fine Art Ribbon. And I just think it's lovely and it does a nice bow as well. But I'm not going to do a bow. You could, if you wanted to, put a Velcro dot on there and open that with Velcro. But I think that would put quite a lot of pressure on that. You could, if you wanted to, maybe decorate that with a heart. Let me show you, seeing as this has not taken as long as I thought it would. Let me just grab a heart. Um, let's just grab some card. So you could Stick a heart on there. I'm even thinking of doing that now. I'm running the um, running that through there like that. No, I'm not going to do it because uh, I'm not. So you could do that. We've got two grandchildren. Youngest is seven. You've got your hands full there, then, Kathy. So that would look quite nice if you've got a closure like that on there as well. But I'm not, I'm not going to do that. You can put your own, I was going to say you could put your own stamp on it. No pun intended. I'm going to stop talking because I'm concentrating now. So yes, it does use up a lot of a lot of card. But you know, if this is a special gift, this is worth the effort, I think. And there we have it. A really pretty box. Well you can make it as pretty as you like. You could make it feminine, masculine, neutral, you know, whatever, children, whatever you like. And all you would need to do is just slip that uh, ribbon off like that quite easily. I'm quite proud of that. It's come out quite nicely. And and there you go. I'm glad that went quite well despite the fact that I'd miscut that. Um and I hope you like it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um yeah a belly band would work perfectly well with that with a heart on it absolutely um lots of different ways in which you could finish that off it does need securing it kind of keeps its shape but it definitely needs securing um so there are you know a few different ways in which you could do that so um ah oh, thank you very much thank you um so yeah so thank you ever so much for joining me everybody i hope you like that and um, I need to think about what I'm going to do tomorrow. So I don't know if anybody has any suggestions, um, but it's got to be relatively short. I'm going to have to do this in about half an hour, 45 minutes. It'll be the same time tomorrow, probably, because I can't definitely can't do anything during the day. Um, so if there is something in particular that you would like, if you want to inspire me and give me some ideas as to what I'm going to make, then I'd be extremely grateful. Um, but yeah, just let me know. But for the time being, I will love you and leave you and I will see you tomorrow evening. Thank you, everybody, for your support. It's really appreciated. See you tomorrow night.